Roper St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV. A pap smear is an important part of a woman's health care plan, and it's important to know how often you should have the exam. Dr. Megan Palais goes over the latest guidelines. Pap smears, I think, used to start at age 18. Now, pap smears are starting at age 21, no matter what. And if you're between ages 21 to 30, it's just a pap smear every three years, unless anything comes back abnormal. And then after age 30, it's a pap smear with HPV co-testing every five years after that, stopping at age 65. The pap smear is designed to find changes in the cells that could indicate the developing presence of cervical cancer. Early detection makes a huge difference in terms of treatment. And there's usually a spectrum from very low grade to high grade to precancer to cancer. And if you have a low grade pap smear, a lot of times what we'll just say is come back in a year. Your body usually clears those abnormal cells on its own and you'll just need routine screening from that point. And often, cervical cancer has no other symptoms in its early stages. It's actually very silent and that's the reason why I think it's so important that women do visit their OBGYNs every year. Even if they know they don't need a pap smear for another three years, we still do a visual exam. For more information, call 402 CARE and for more House Calls TV visit us online at rsfh.com. I'm Angela May. Roper St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV.